Hi and welcome to Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to generate CSS code automatically to do something like this and this. This is basically an Elementor logo widget and the one below is basically an heading widget. And this entire CSS code was generated by AI and I didn't write a single piece of CSS code. Isn't it amazing? I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Well, it's pretty basic what you have to do to achieve this. And this is done by using something called chat GPT, which you might already have heard of. So just go to chat.openai.com and sign up for a free account. And let's get started with this tutorial. So let me first drag in Elementor logo widget or let's actually use image widget for this. So I'll just click and drag image widget. I'll pick site logo from the dynamic option. So I'll just click on dynamic tag and pick site logo for this. And let's change the style a bit. Yeah, maybe around that is totally fine. So this is the basic widget. Now go to chat GPT, which is chat.openai.com. After signing up, you'll have this dialog box. All I have to say is to give me CSS code. So I'm gonna say, give me CSS code to spin Elementor image widget on hover so it's going to understand what i need and it also understood that it's basically elementor and it all already understood that elementor is a page builder and it understood what needs to be done so let's try using this code let's go within this and just paste this and just like that the code works out of the box right when i hover over it the logo is spinning. Now you can even refine this a bit. Now I can simply say, refine the code above and use unique class name. Let's see what it does. You can automatically see that it understood what I needed. So it's also telling me that the unique class name needs to be added in Elementor. You can see it gave a unique class called rotate on hover. So it's telling us to put this in the advanced tab of the Elementor image widget that we're trying to target. So let's actually do that. So this is the class name. I'll copy the class name. Now I'll remove this code now. Scroll down, click on layout. It's under layout under advanced tab. So I'll paste the class name here. Now scroll down. And now I'll copy this modified code that has this and I'll just paste this. So that works for that particular image. And if you drag any other image, it wouldn't work for that image. Previously, it would work for any image, but now this is just specific to the class name, right? And the best part about this is that AI automatically understood what Elementor was, what Elementor widget was, and what CSS needs to be done to achieve the required effect. This is crazy, man. Like, you don't even need to understand anything about CSS or Elementor. You can just type and get the code. So I'll just drag in Elementor heading widget. Let's add some text. Of course, in lines. Okay, so this is our Elementor heading widget. And let's say I just want a CSS code to make it like a new sticker. So I'll just say, generate CSS code to make Elementor heading widget scroll horizontally in a loop. Let's see how well it goes. Yeah, it understood what Elementor heading widget is and it's giving us some code that needs to be done. So let's put this code it still didn't finish typing. Basically, the ones below are basically instructions. And this is basically the code snippet. It will also explain what the code is all about. Or you can ask it if it doesn't explain. So once the generation of the code is done, you can click on copy code. Again, go to the advanced tab under custom CSS. Boom, you have a new sticker for your Elementor heading widget 
without understanding a single piece of CSS code. How awesome is that? Wow, man. A scrolling ticker, new sticker for Elementor heading widget without using any third party add on, even without understanding a single piece of CSS code, you could do this, right? Let me show you another example. This is a really cool one. This is my personal favorite. So I'll just drag in Elementor button widget. I'll align it onto the center. Let's say, write CSS code. Now you don't have to exactly give the same command. You can type anything and it'll understand because it is artificial intelligence. So this is next level stuff here. So I'll say write CSS code to make button wobble or to make Elementor button wobble. I'll just give it its sweet time and it'll do whatever it needs to do and boom. It's giving me the code. So I'll just wait for it. And just like that, it gave another code for Elementor button. Of course, I'll refine it to make the code unique so that it works just with the button that we want. It's also explaining everything related to this code, which is kind of neat. If it doesn't explain, you can ask it. Okay, the response is generated now. Now I'll say, replace the code above with unique class name for Elementor button in simple plain English, just like that. And it will give us a class name and it will also modify the code. You can see that it changed the class name to unique class name, right? And it will ask us to put the same in the advanced tab of that particular widget, which is kind of neat. This is some next level stuff. And this is not just limited to CSS. You can ask it to write JavaScript. You can ask it to write PHP. So it's asking us, this is the class name. So I'll just put this class into the button. Now under custom CSS, I'll just copy the modified custom CSS. So only this button is affected and not any other button on any other page. Now, as you can see, the code doesn't work. So with Elementor button widget, please modify it. And it understood. It will even apologize, apologize to you. See, apologize for the confusion. Wow, man, this is like talking to an expert in CSS, except that it's artificial intelligence. So let's see if this particularly works. No, it doesn't work at all. Let's try that again. Sometimes it doesn't get it right, but you know, get the thing. Give me CSS code to make Elementor button widget wobble in plain English. Let's try that again. I'll let it finish generating and I'll paste this code. Go in here and paste it. Now I just removed button from that and it's working properly. You can change the animation speed from here. So if you make it 13 seconds, that animation is like that. It's still wobbling, but it's wobbling quite slow. Now this is fast wobbling. Now the whole wobble animation, it understood that we wanted the button to wobble and it got this wrong. That code works, right? It's wobbling, but at a really fast speed. You can also ask it to slow down. As you can say, slow down the wobble animation and it will modify the code to slow down the wobble animation. See, it increased the time from one second to 1.5 seconds. So hopefully that should give us a better animation. So let's try 1.5 here. Yeah, somewhat better, maybe five seconds. I can also say refine the code above to target Elementor button, but not the wrapper. Let's see if it understands that. that. Now that's a pretty complex statement. And let's see if it gets the context. Wow, man, it got the context. So previously it was targeting the button wrapper, 
so it's basically wobbling this whole container but now it'll just wobble the button so that should give us a better animation let's copy this and i'll just paste it inside and boom see that see how it's wobbling instead of the whole container it's just applying it to the button and we got our wobble animation now it's crazy to learn that the ai understood what a wobble animation is and what is the css code required for that and what is the specific css code required for element button widget not any general button it understood the html structure it gave us the exact classes it even refined the classes how cool is this this is the future for sure now let's try another widget so i'll just drag in block code widget of elementor and let's ask ai to give us a unique style so i'll say generate or write css to make it sleek and stylish i don't know i'm just making this up i don't even know what that means and let's see if ai gets it <laughs> crazy man like wow <laughs> it got the class of the block code widget it's giving us everything we need and i'll just wait for it to complete its response and i'll just paste it into the block code widget and hopefully that should work just fine yeah so it gave us the whatever right now i'll just go to the advanced tab of the block code widget i'll put this let's see yeah that did change let's uh, modify this make the background of the code above gradient on hover let's see if this works right these are not just any normal things these are things that any professional would understand but this ai is automatically understanding it and the best part is you don't even need to tell what elementor block code widget is it already knows and this applies to any page builder any plugin as well so yeah let's copy this code now i'll remove this css code boom it gave us a background on hover so that's the magic of generative ai or ai in general chat gpt now elementor is coming up with their own version of ai which will let you write headings body text everything just by asking it will also give you css code just like this right it will refine the code and do all that stuff it will also generate images for you elementor ai this is just the beginning and i'm planning part 2 of this video where i'll show you more advanced stuff and how you can refine chat gpt to do more advanced css and even javascript and php kind of stuff so let me know if you guys are interested in this and if you love this or like this video hit like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one until then happy designing